All right, let's go over the basics of using modules in Specular. And I've already hooked an agent. If I go to agents, I can see I have an agent already running. But in order to do stuff with this agent, you need to do interact and then the ID of the agent. That puts us in the context of that agent. And if I double tap, you can see all the stuff I can do here. I can go back in the menu. I can clear the screen. I can clear all the agent data. I can list out the data. I can delete the agent itself. I can use a module called Explorer. More on that later. I can type help. I can view info. I can change the jitter. I can get the push notification on the next callback. I can do QDEL or QList, which deletes the queue of tasks or lists the queue of tasks. Uh, refresh time allows you to change how often it will uh, call back the refresh time. Run taskbook. If we have specified task books, we can run like a, a long list of commands. And use module. This is the one you're going to use the most. Uh, and this is the one I'm going to demonstrate now. If I do use module, space, double tab, I can see all the different modules we currently have in this repository. So just to show you some examples, let's do enumerate post list processes. Uh, and then I can do options to see if there's any options I need to configure. In this module, there's no options. It's just something you run. If I do run, it will add this to the queue. If I do queue list, I can see the, the list of task uh, tasks, it will run. At the bottom screen, I have the log running. So I will see here once it's connected back and ran the task and post back the results, which should happen pretty soon. There we go. It found a queue task to execute, the list process task, uh, and then it ran it, and then it returned this data here. And the server decrypts this using the decryption key and puts it in the, um, in the agent data uh, folder where it has a file for each agent. This file can be viewed by writing data, but that way I can quickly see the output of that task. So you can see here, uh, this is the result of the enumerate host list processes. Uh, you see all the different PIDs and PPIDs art architecture of the process and the process name, and sometimes the executable path as well. Let's do something more interesting. Let's um, let's do uh, list order runs. Before I do this, I'm going to change the refresh time to 10 seconds. It, it moves a little faster. Um, I'm going to set the jitter to zero as well. For every 10 seconds, it should call back. Uh, that way it moves a little bit faster when we're doing this demo. Use module, and then I'm going to use the enumerate post list order runs and do a run. Verify queue list if I want. I could also do queue del and then the ID to delete the task if I, I regretted it. Also, if you have like a long list of tasks, you can delete them. It ran. Uh, the results are posted back. I can type data. I can see the different things they try to run and fetch. You can see there's a HKC order runs. Uh, there's a OneDrive one. Um, here's one for MS Edge and stuff like that. Let's also see if we can explore the file. So there's a module for that. Operation file list uh, directory. And there are some options here. As uh, so you can see, we have directory. This is the part where we want to specify if we want which directory on the client we want to list. If we want to recur, so you could like go deep down. I would recommend to not go too deep because it will, it could hang the output process. I'll try to keep it at the top level if you can. Uh, if there are specific file types you want to list out or file names, you can specify that this here. You can also specify to not show directories or no files. By default, it lists out all the directories and files um, in the size format of megabytes. So I'm going to set the directory to just C colon and just do run. If I do QList, you can see all the options here that it's going to add to this module when it runs it on the host. So give it a few seconds. There we go. I type data. You can see the different things here. You can see F is for file, D is for directory. Uh, I want to check out what's in the seed temp folder. I'm going to do use module, operation file, 
list directory, set directory like this. If I if I am um, if I want to do multiple ones and I don't want it to enter the use module every time, I can do the command called add and it will not e exit out of the module. And I can do the set directory c colon um, payloads for instance, and then do run on that. Uh, let's do data, and you can see there's a file in the ctemp called the important file. So I'm going to download that file. That's something you normally would do in an operation where you find something that seems interesting. But to do that, you do operation file get file. Uh, you can do options here. You can specify file, chunk size, and destination. I'm going to do set file to c colon 10. Uh, what was it again? Important file. That text and I'm gonna do I'm just gonna leave chunk size at the default value uh, I would recommend to not go above this value because there has been some issues where it kind of times out the web view script running engine and you get the user will get like a, a notification on their side so I would avoid changing this too high uh, destination is where on the server you want to store the downloaded file. Uh, I'm just gonna store it in C temp text. Uh, sorry, C, uh, the temp test dot text file. Do a run, and it's gonna first see how big the file is by posting back the size, and then it's gonna to divide it into chunks and post back chunks one at a time. This was just a one chunk file. So it ran pretty fast. It it ran on the first one. This is one of the modules that actually shows the output in the console. Uh, it says that it's done. Um, if I want to just take a look at that, I can cat temp test, and it's just a random password. All right, let's um, try to upload a file instead. That the module you're going to use is operation file uh, put file, and the same here. Um, when you specify file here, that, that's the file on the specular server you want to upload. I have prepared a file called C, uh, sorry, temp file to upload. Uh, and then I'm going to just leave the chunk size as is, set the destination to C colon temp file to upload.txt and do a run. And it's going to try and upload that file. And you see it needs two check ins for it to be done with the upload part. If I check the agent here, we can quickly go into the C temp folder and have a look. And here's the, here's the file. That's how you download and upload files. So I'm not going to cover each module because there are many modules, um, but it's basically just exploring different ones. I will not go over each one of these modules, but I will leave them up for you to explore. Have fun.